There are nearly two dozen Mardi Gras parades rolling this weekend, but our partners at Gambit are already looking ahead to the second big weekend of Carnival. That's the focus of next week's issue, which is on newsstands on Sunday. And arts and entertainment editor Will Coviello joins us now from their newsroom with a preview. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you. So this issue of Gambit's great because it has all the parade routes and the maps there. Um, there are some changes, though, people need to know about, specifically with Endemion and Zulu. Yeah, with those two large parades, there are a couple of alterations in the routes downtown because of the Hard Rock situation. So uh, Endemion, which would normally come straight down Canal Street, is going to turn a little earlier on Elks or Loyola Avenue, move over to Poydras. And another big thing, which uh, is this year it's going to end at the Convention Center instead of um, at the normal Superdome location where it would hold the extravaganza. The Superdome is undergoing renovation, so they're having the ball at the Convention Center. And then Zulu going the other way, instead of going to Canal Street, is going to turn onto Poydras and then go up to Loyola and then go across straight across Loyola to Basin Street where it'll go to its traditional ending at its home in Mid City. All right, and then let's talk about Kenner. They've got a new parade. Yeah, um, well, the crew of ISIS has paraded on the Veterans uh, Memorial Boulevard route in Metairie for years, but it originally was founded in Kenner. It paraded in Kenner uh, 48 years ago when it started, and this year it's moving back. So uh, the ISIS parade on Saturday is going to start at Esplanade Mall. It's going to go follow a route on uh, West Esplanade to Loyola Drive and then Chateau Boulevard. It's going to end at the Pontchartrain Center. Okay, yeah, I should have said uh, new to Kenner, not a new parade, that's for sure. Sure. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 uh, a f almost 50 years old. It's probably one of the older female, all female crews in uh, Jefferson. And that will be a lot of fun. Mardi Gras also yeah. about the music, and there's going to be a lot of acts people will be interested in. Tell us about those. Yeah, uh, it's almost like carnival balls because some of these shows become traditional. Um, some of the big shows that happen the final weekend, uh, uh, Tipitina's is going to host it, its owners. Galactic are going to have two shows, their traditional Lundy Gras show there, and then they're going to do a Saturday show. Um, they also have some special guests for both of those shows. And then Anders Osborne has an, uh, kind of an all-star lineup for Sunday night uh, following the Bacchus Parade. Um, he's going to be joined by Jerika Singleton, a bluesman from Mississippi, and uh, John Cleary, George Porter. So that's going to be a big mix of New Orleans music. A um, couple of downtown shows. Uh, Big Frida is kind of making an annual habit of or, or an annual tradition out of her Frida Gras at uh, One Eyed Jacks. And then Quintron and Panacea have a bunch of out of town guests for their annual uh, Lundy Gras show at One Eyed Jacks as well. And then this year, uh, Howling Wolf is hosting a kind of a bounce showcase. They're calling it Sunday Gras, also on Bacchus Sunday. So there's a host of big shows uh, over the weekend. Uh, pretty close to parade routes, but late. Right, next weekend, so much for people to take advantage of. This is why I keep the Gambit in my car, so it's always <laughs> handy when I want to go somewhere. Thank you so much, Will. Very right, cool. Thank and you, a, rem Karen. a reminder, you can read more about all of next week's Gambit, which is on newsstand Sunday and online at bestinneworleans.com.